Hello there. We've seen some beautiful, strong sunshine throughout the day. A welcome splash of rain fell overnight and first thing this morning in the east. We've had plenty of sunshine though, as I say, following. This was East Sussex earlier in the day. There's a little bit more cloud across Argyll and Butte and that's because we've got the showers here and they'll persist into this evening before easing away overnight. But you can see quite clearly that line of cloud in the North Sea. That's the weather front that's cleared through, waiting out in the wings in the Atlantic. Yep, we've got more trouble brewing just in time for the weekend. But for the rest of this evening, it looks fine and dry. Some late evening sunshine for many of us. The showers will tend to fade away. And overnight, the main theme is the chill, actually, considering it's nearly the middle of May. We're talking about temperatures within two or three degrees of freezing. So a touch of grass frost, even in southern rural areas, possibly some frost in the glens of Scotland. So we wake up to a beautiful start, except in Northern Ireland. Already you can see here the next weather front's moving in. Strengthening southerly breezes will push that rain in through the morning. And to be honest, it'll be on and off for much of the day, we think. However, it does arrive in the western side of Scotland, the Western Isles, Argyll and Butte. But further east, around the Murray Firth, it looks very pleasant with some sunshine continuing here and across the north of England, the Midlands, eastern and southeastern England, whilst eventually that rain gets into Wales and the southwest as we head towards tea time. And it's warmer, despite all the cloud further west, because we've changed the wind direction. It's a southerly direction. So that's how it looks into the evening, fine and dry for the east. But through the weekend, there is a lot of uncertainty concerning how far east that weather front is going to spill its rain. Now, it looks as if it may well stall across the eastern side of the UK on Saturday, bringing more rain. And then the low pressure follows it hot on its heels into the southwest to give us showers. And it's those details where the showers will be and where that front stagnates, which are going to cause the problem and will make a vast difference to where or the type of weather that you get. So it looks as if eastern areas may well stay rather cloudy with some rain potentially the afternoon looks wetter on saturday for the east of england the east of scotland further west just a scattering of showers and in between some lovely sunshine temperatures about average for the time of year sunday sees that weather front we think stalling across the north and the east of scotland so allowing some sunnier skies to filter into the southeast but with plenty of showers following on behind as well to the south and west more widely so there's a lot of uncertainty if you have plans stay tuned to the forecast Bye bye